Good morning, everyone. It's Nina, Beach from Bargains. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be more of a vlog style, a day in the life for me as a part time reseller. So it is, let's see. Oh, <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. It's Thursday, February 14th. And don't worry, I didn't forget it's Valentine's Day. My husband and I are fine. We just don't really celebrate because our wedding anniversary is actually on the 18th so it'd be pretty annoying to do the 14th and the 18th so that's why i didn't know what day it was but it's 7 a.m and it's time to share the closet and walk the creature so i have my phone ready to share my closet and she's very ready say hi to the vlog no she's very concentrated on going on her morning walk um, so what I do is while I walk her, we walk for about 20, 30 minutes before I start work and I will share my closet from my phone. Um, this used to be a lot easier when I had like two, 300 listings, but I have closer to 500 now. So I don't necessarily always get through it because as you guys know, phone sharing is not the fastest way. I can definitely share a lot faster on my PC, but I think if you're doing this part-time, it's really important to maximize your time best you can. So if I can walk and share, I'm killing you know two birds with one stone. So Whatever I don't get done, I'll finish on my PC when I get home. So, all right, it's time to go for our walk. And it's cold today in Florida. I mean, it's not cold, but it's like 50. So hopefully I make it. So I'm back home now. I actually got through my whole closet in that walk because my dog had to sniff everything. We went our normal like mile route, but she was sniffing everything. So I was just sharing, sharing, sharing. Also Poshmark made some updates to the app yesterday and it seems like the sharing has gotten faster. There used to be just like this teeny tiny lag, but it seems like that is gone now. So I'm down with that. So was, I have about 470 or 80 active listings. So it took me about 35 minutes, but I'm also walking. So it makes it a little more difficult. Um, so now the next thing I do is I put my packages out. So I schedule a pickup every day. I don't go to the post office. I used to, but I don't have any issues with pickups. Um, they scan them right away at my door. So it's, it's very fast and convenient for me. And I have a ring doorbell camera, so I'm not worried about anyone sealing them or anything like that either. And I've never had any issues. So today I don't actually have a pickup scheduled. I just put it in my mailbox because I only have one package going out. So it happens. I feel like Wednesdays are probably my slowest sales day, which makes sense because like I can barely function by the time the week gets to Wednesday. So I get it. No time for shopping, but we should do all of our shipping at night. So you see that later tonight, um, we do all of our shipping at once and I only do my shipping once a day. So like if I woke up today and someone had bought something overnight, I'm not going to ship it, but I'm up till like midnight, 1am. So I think that's fine. But um, we only do it once a day and I think it makes things a lot easier on us. So now it's time to get to work. It's about 8.30. I have a watch on. Why did I look at my clock? Um, and I usually work from 8.30 to 4.30 or like 9 to 5, just depending on what my meeting schedule is for the day. So I'm going to go ahead and get started working. So something I do when I'm getting started for work for the day is I go through my Poshmark notifications and my eBay notifications and I look for any likes that I got on Poshmark or any messages I got on eBay. So I just got a message on eBay, um, just a typical, does this item have any imperfections, rips, stains, tears, etc. Has it been washed and dried in the dryer? So a little message here, I'm going to respond to that. And then I will also go through Poshmark um, and scroll through and find the likes I got from overnight. So I think it was like eight or so likes and then the likes I got from just sharing my closet. And I'll go through and send offers to likers just via the bundles feature. So I'll show you guys that real quick if I can find one. Okay. So here they just changed this. I don't know how well this is going to show, but there's a like on this item. So I'm going to click on it, go to this person's closet. Um, I always follow them. So I'm following them now. And then I'm going to go to the bundles feature. Um, switch to cell view and then I'm going to add this item to a bundle for them so you can always see it's at the bottom down there I'm going to add it to a bundle and then I have this app called text expander 
Um, and all I have to do is type the word offer. So I type offer and then I just hit space and boom, it puts my little message in there. So the message I send when I send an offer via the bundles feature is, hi there, I saw you like this item, so I sent you an offer, exclamation point. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day, smiley face. So I'll just send that. And then I go ahead and send an offer. So this item is listed at 40 bucks. I just listed it, it's Tommy Hilfiger blouse, new with tags. So um, I'm gonna give discounted shipping and then an offer of 30 bucks. So I'll just go through and do that on all the likes I got overnight. Um, I don't necessarily get sales out of this, but I do think it helps the Poshmark algorithm that you're being active on the app. So that's part of the reason why I do this. And then also respond to that eBay message. And yes, my work office is in like my inventory stored in here too. So I have another office across the hallway. You'll see that later tonight when we're listing. And that's where we have like, our photo setup and um, another desk in there for doing listing. So um, throughout the day, I'll send offers via bundles. And then at lunchtime, I'll eat my lunch and share my closet again. Okay, it is about 10 a.m. I just sold something on eBay. It was actually that message I got this morning from a buyer, asked a couple of questions, and then went back and forth and just sold a dress, a uh, Karen Kane dress, which is a Nordstrom brand, just like a career dress. Um, sold it for $28 and they asked me, can you ship today? It's funny because I was just talking about how I don't ship, uh, I only ship once a day and then I'm gonna make an exception. Of course, when someone asks, can you ship today? I go ahead and ship because I literally work from home and there's my inventory. So it takes me two minutes to just ship this and go throw it in the mailbox. So I already pulled the item um, and it's already wrapped in a poly bag. So I store my stuff in poly bags. I just have to pull the tote from here and then pull out the item. Um, and then I have to weigh it. So I have a dress similar to this I already sold. So I know this is going to be over a pound, but just want to double check. So this is the scale I have. Um, it's just from Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks. It's linked in my bio, my Amazon favorites, but okay, you can see it's over a pound. So if an item is over a pound for eBay, it has to go priority mail. First class mail can only go if it's under a pound. So I have a padded flat rate envelope. I'm going to stuff it in. Um, the rule with padded flat rates is it's a flat rate. doesn't matter how much it weighs. And if it fits, it ships is what they say. That's the, the motto for eBay shipping. So I have the item here. I'm going to go ahead and print the shipping label. I should have shown you guys my printer, but I just have a Dymo uh, 4XL thermal printer, which is really great because it doesn't use any ink. Okay, to ship this, it's gonna cost $6.75. Also, while I'm doing this, I will put the item on my spreadsheet. I do my bookkeeping as soon as I sell the items. I used to wait, but that didn't work. I would just never do it. And then at the end of the month, I'd be like, oh crap, I have to do my bookkeeping. I take a business card, it's my business cards, um, and they ha just have a thank you for your business on the back of them. I got this from uh, Vistaprint, and I just put them, nowadays I put them um, inside the poly bags, but for older items, I just stick them on with this thank you sticker and stick them on, and then I'll put it in the poly mailer. And then put the label on it. And then the other thing I put on all my packages is these please scan me stickers. Um, I got these on eBay actually and they were super cheap, like 500 of them. I think I paid like less than 10 bucks. So I won't show any of the tracking or anything, but just put them on the package. Therefore, I make sure that USPS scans them at all steps of the process and the tracking is updated for the buyer and the seller, you know, me. Um, it's helped a lot since I started using them. They're obnoxious. I mean, they're like bright red, but if it works, it works. So I'm gonna go put this in my mailbox. Now it is back to work. Like I said, I usually don't 
do this. I don't do same day shipping unless the buyer specifically requests it. Um, and in this case, it's like, why not? Cause I'm here and I already had one package going out. I didn't have a pickup schedule just because I only had one item, but it still fits in the mailbox. My mailman's cool with it and he'll scan it and pick it up. So now I'll message them and say, Hey, I shipped it. And that's a good way to get good feedback as well as, you know, doing what the buyer wants. So now it's back to work. Okay. It's about 1230. I just finished sharing my closet. Um, I'm going to make some lunch. I eat the same thing literally every day for lunch. I'm going to have eggs, egg whites, and a protein waffle. That's literally my lunch almost every single day. I'm a creature of habit. Um, so I'm finished with my closet. I have had a pretty busy day so far. I've been in a lot of meetings, so I haven't had any time to send out offers via the bundles feature. So while I'm eating my lunch, I'll watch some crappy reality TV and send bundles via my phone. Um, through any for any likes I've gotten so far for the day. But something I wanted to show you guys is I'm going to be doing a little giveaway with this video. Um, I'm getting close to 500 subscribers, which I know might not be a lot to a lot of people, but I can't believe even two people subscribe to my YouTube channel. So 500 is insane. And I appreciate all of you guys. So I want to do a giveaway. So what the giveaway is going to be is going to be inventory. So let me turn on my ring light. I'm in my second office, my reselling office um, and I'll show you guys some of the stuff that's going to go in the giveaway. So um, I want to give away some inventory. So these are just three of the items that are going to go in the box and I'll show you each one is. This is a swimsuit um, and it's J. Crew new with tag. Just like a one piece, um, like a open back. I sold a couple of these for about 40 bucks. Um, next, how could I not include Gymshark in the giveaway? I literally always talk about Gymshark. So these are some of the flex leggings. Um, these are an extra small and they're crop, but these will easily sell for 40, 50 bucks. And then next is everyone's favorite brand, um, a free people top. It's this really pretty long sleeve. I guess it's also kind of a tunic. Um, with ruffle detailing at the bottom. It's in perfect condition. There's going to be a couple other items in the box as well, but I want some of it to be a surprise. So you're surprised when you get it. So to enter the giveaway, you have to be subscribed to my channel and then just leave a comment below um, about what's your favorite way to relax from reselling. So something I struggle with I have to admit it is taking a break um, and how to disconnect sometimes because I like I work from home, my business is in my house. I'm always business, business, business. So what we do, um, my husband and I, you'll see him later in the video when he gets off work. Um, we go to the gym and that's like my time to get away from everything. I'm out of the house. I, my mind's not on business at all. So leave a comment below. What do you do to kind of get your mind off of work? So I know that's a struggle for us resellers. And I will be doing this giveaway for a week. So I'm not sure when I'll upload this, but I'll put it in the description when the giveaway ends. So I'm really excited to send this stuff. There's also going to be a pair of jeans. I have a lot of really good jeans right now. So I'm excited that it'll be like three items right now. It'll be like six or seven items. Um, probably able to resell for like two to three hundred dollars. So I'll leave a comment below to enter the giveaway. I just want to say thanks to all of you guys. So I'll be back after the day's over because it's 12.30, so around 5 o'clock, I'll be logging out of work, and my husband should be here, and he'll be in the vlog as well. It's the best part of the day. I don't know who enjoys it more, me or Macy. Okay, it is just past 5. Um, I'm done for working for the day, and we have a new guest. You. Me? They can't see you. Oh. Hey, everybody. <laughs> He was not supposed to get me anything for Valentine's Day. I don't know why I ever believe this. Every year I'm like, we're not doing anything for Valentine's Day. And then he comes home with the same stuff. And I'm like, you lied to me again. I don't mind. I'm not complaining. But it's time for us to go walk our dog. Um, this is her third walk of the day. Yes, she is a princess. But he will walk her and I'll share my closet while I'm walking. So it's easier because I don't have to walk. Well, I'm still walking. But I'm not holding the dog and trying to share. So... This walk again will be about 20 minutes, so I should be able to get through my whole closet. So it's the third time sharing my closet today. So we'll be back after our walk. Okay, it's six o'clock now. We're in the car. 
I'm not driving, obviously. I have a driver, and that's my dog. He's always in the center here. Um, gets the best view. We are on our way to my favorite fancy restaurant. Where are we going? Going to Zaxby's. It's my hands down favorite place to eat. And it's not fancy, that's a joke. Um, I get salads. If you haven't had a salad, get a salad. It literally will change your life. Uh, so we're gonna eat that. We usually, we have meal prep, meal preps done for the week, but because it's Valentine's Day, we're treating ourselves to salads getting wild here um we don't want to go out because it's like pretty much hell on earth to eat out on valentine's day most of the time so um we're just gonna eat that and then we'll go to the gym and then we will get to listing the goal is to list 10 items tonight right macy she agrees it's about 8 15 and we're on our way to the gym a little later than usual because to tell the truth we fell asleep for a minute but that's because we got up pretty early this morning and stayed up too late. Um, we should be back around 10, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, so back around 10, and then we will we'll shower, and we have 10 listings to do. So it's going to be a late night, but we're usually up till like midnight anyway, so off to the gym we go. Okay, we are back home. We got home at like 9.45. It's about 10.30 right now. Um, we got home and showered, obviously, and now we're going to crank out 10 listings um, before we do our shipping, and then we will go to bed. So I don't think I showed you guys around this room earlier, but this is our reselling room in our house. So let me exit the room. So this is where we were earlier, where I have my inventory and my office, and then this room is where we do our photos and our listings. So the first thing we have... The photographer. <laughs> uh, so he takes all the photos. To be honest, I'm really bad at taking photos. So shout out to him. He's very good at it. But this is where we take our pictures. So we have our mannequin. That's from like TJ Maxx or something. And then we have this backdrop, which is a white cloth backdrop. Um, and it's got like the hole in it. So you can put a curtain rod. And it's literally just hanging on a curtain rod that we got from Home Depot. This is from Amazon. Um, it's in my seller favorites it was like 20 bucks so it's a really good deal um, we pin it to the wall with these tacks so it doesn't have any wrinkles and you can actually throw it in the dryer so when we got it I threw it in the dryer um, and then it has these clamps so that it stays tight and then we have our ring light of course my best friend our ring light which I use for filming as well most of the time and then this guy wasn't in the way. <laughs> we could see um, that's my YouTube background. It probably looks a lot bigger on YouTube videos, but it's actually not that big, but I need to be pretty close to it. Um, then over here, we just have a little desk. I have a big old monitor where I'll do my listing. And then we have this clothing rack, which I love. Um, what we do when we do batches is like, we'll just hang 10 things. And those are the 10 things we're going to list. And then like the items back here all need to be um, bagged up and put in their totes because they were listed yesterday. So that's it for the room. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about our process. So what we're doing now is he's just going to crank out photos as fast as he can. Just do photos, photos, photos um, for all 10 and then he will edit them all. And while he's doing that, I'm going to start working on the drafts on eBay, um, getting those ready. So I'll be measuring and typing up the descriptions of the items and pricing them so that when he uploads the photos, I can just complete the drafts on eBay. And then um, I have my friend who does my listing on Poshmark. So I just save it in a Google Doc that she has access to. And she'll just go through whenever she has time and list them on Poshmark. So that's kind of our listing process as a whole. Um, we do everything on eBay first for many reasons because eBay has templates. I'm going to make a whole YouTube video on that because I think it's totally underutilized feature where on eBay you can just select you know, women's tops and you're going to get all, whatever you set up for women's tops, like the shipping, the returns policy, the measurements you'd want to use. Like eBay is, has so many features that if you use, you can really speed up your process. So I'll make a separate YouTube video on that because I think it's really helpful, but I'm going to get to typing away and I'll be back on here when we're shipping.
Okay, it's about 11.45. Um, we're done with our 10 listings and now it is time to do our shipping. Like I said earlier, we do all of our shipping at night and then we schedule pickup. So in the morning, it's just easy peasy. I've sold five things today. One of them was the item that I shipped earlier because I asked for same day shipping. So sent that one out and then one is unpaid on eBay, but they literally bought it like 15 minutes ago. But I still, when it's unpaid, I still pack it up and ship it. And then there's two other ones on Poshmark and then one, no, two, one on Poshmark and two other ones on eBay. So eBay did well for me today. Um, sold a lot of different things, shoes, pants, tops, everything. So I'll take you with on some of my shipping. And the first thing we do is we pull all of the items at once. So you see my helper. <laughs> all he does is wave. He doesn't talk. Um, Hello. <laughs> uh, I write down all of the numbers that I need to pull so we can just pull the totes quickly. And then we'll get all of the items out and then ship them all. Okay, so we are wrapping up our shipping now. Something I wanted to mention is if you're shipping shoes on eBay, it can get really expensive if you're going priority mail, but I'll show you how we are going to ship these shoes. So I sold these. I wish I didn't bag them yet, but these coach um, flats and flats are really small. So you can actually put them in a priority mail padded flat rate envelope. So I'm just going to put them in one of these. Another thing I wanted to show you that we do, I said we only do our shipping once a day. Um, if someone doesn't pay for something on eBay, I'll go ahead and bag it. And then I'll just put the number on it. Like this is J85 and the weight. So therefore tomorrow when they pay, because most of the times people do pay. If they don't, that's okay. I'll just take it out eventually, but I think they'll pay. That's because it was an offer from them. So I think they'll pay. Um, and then in the morning, if they do pay, it can just go out tomorrow and I just put it, um, I already have all the info and I can just print the shipping label real quick. So we're going to finish shipping these and then it is 12.06. So we'll have a snack and head to bed. So thank you guys for watching this video and don't forget to enter the giveaway so you can get all of those goodies.